Hey, what's up, fellas? This is Dr. Varun Gandhi. Love and abundance to you. Thank you for tuning in to the Gandhi TV. This is your one-stop shop to elevate your consciousness. Guys, this is what I love to do. I love to have these conversations on how we all can raise our vibrations together. And what I find in my daily, in my daily life, I implement it, try it out, see what, what works for me, and then I talk about it. So this one came to me from one of my experiences that just happened recently. My wife had something difficult to tell me because it was about me improving myself in a certain way, me stepping up to the plate in a certain way. And she delivered the message in the best way possible that she could. And I know my, my, my ego got bruised for sure. But despite that, after two hours of sulking, I still thanked her for it. I was grateful because she gave me an opportunity to improve myself. Even though it hit my ego and it bruised my ego and it took me two hours to come back to her and say thank you. But at that moment I genuinely felt grateful because she gave me this opportunity to grow. So I realized being grateful even in the situations when, you, when your ego is hurt, even in those situations when you think you're, you've become a lesser person because of this ego you know, giving, sending you these messages. But when you look at it from a different perspective, it's actually a sign of love. It's a gift, it's a present that my wife gave me, a gift on how I could step up in a different way. So thanking someone, being grateful for someone and for the gift that they give you is a powerful way to show your appreciation for them. So I looked up the definition of gratitude. What does it mean to be in gratitude? And going back to the root, the origin of the word, it had two meanings, thankful and pleasing. So thankful is what we commonly associate gratitude with, is, hey, you helped me out, I'm thankful for you. Thankful, I am showing you appreciation for the benefit that you provided me with. But the other one is pleasing. Instead of, being, instead of saying that you're thankful and thanking someone, you're actually showing it by doing, by acting in a way to please the other person, to bring pleasure to the other person. So you're taking the words of being thankful and grateful, taking it a step further and you're actually implementing an action that would bring pleasure, that would show your appreciation for this person. So pleasing it takes gratitude to the second level. And we don't associate that pleasing with gratitude. It's powerful. Just looking up these definitions is so powerful. You look at words from a different way now. So I wanted to talk about what does it mean to be in gratitude, why is it helpful? What are the reasons? And it's been proven scientifically, so there is no doubt that science is on, on the side of implementing this technique. Ah, and actually another definition that Google has, so that was the, or, the definition from the origin. Google 
says it's the readiness to show appreciation. Now that's powerful. The readiness, the willingness to show appreciation, meaning, you know, when we're, when we, in our daily life, what is our mindsets usually? We, we step into a situation thinking, how is this person going to screw me over? A lot of us do that. We're in the scarcity mindset, we're in fear, and then this person comes along thinking they're here to take something from us. So we're protective of ourselves, of our possession, of our identity, of our ego. We put up this wall, you know, a defense, as a defense mechanism. But when you flip that mindset on its head and say, instead of showing up in this defensiveness, I'm going to show up in appreciation. So now, despite this person came by and betrayed me by their action, I'm showing appreciation and saying, oh, this person taught me a lesson. Thank you, universe, for bringing this person my way because this person taught me a lesson on how I can love myself a different way. There essentially was a hole in the way that I loved myself and this person pointed it out. There was a way your energies was leaking out of your bubble. And this person came by and pointed it out to you. So instead of looking at it as if this person took away something from you, look at it as if this person gave you more energy, gave you new light. Because when you look, when you realize, oh, there is a hole in this bubble, you know, the goal is to cultivate your energies before you can go out and give of yourself. So when you're cultivating your energies, you want to create a bubble, a foolproof bubble, a well-insulated bubble that keeps all the energy in. And that's the point of raising your vibrations. So now this person came by and said, hey, there is a hole in your bubble. Now you're being thankful for this person and this situation, this circumstance, this experience coming your way. That changes your whole perspective. Now you're grateful for even the little things that come your way. You're grateful for the dog that barked at you, that showed you some love. As opposed to looking at it as if the bark dog is barking at you in, as a sign of anger or um, as a sign to scare you, to instill fear in you. So you have to step up and your ego shows up to scare the dog away. If you flip it and say, oh, the dog is here as a sign of love, and the best way it knows to show love is by barking. Now you be thankful for that. Oh, I'm showing up in gratitude. So your whole mindset changes. But now the key part is this. Your mindset will change, but your emotions will also start changing. Because once your perspective changes, your emotions will naturally follow along and start feeling good. Meaning when you're... When you're in the act of pleasing someone, you feel good about it. And you actually feel it in your body as you put your intention into the act. And as you are uh, committing the act. You feel it in your body. Now you're raising your vibrations. You're feeling these vibrations in your body. And that's elevating your consciousness now. So being in gratitude and looking for these signs and having the mindset of appreciation, of pleasing, you look at every little thing as a gift. Even though it's a little, little thing, it may appear to be little, but to you it is so meaningful. And it's a gift that God, the universe, provided you with. So when, when you show up being in gratitude, 
Now, what happens physically? I mean, you're you're elevate, you're reducing your blood pressure. You're becoming healthier. You're becoming happier, less stressful, less anxiety. You're having fun. You're having playful time with life, because now everything, every little thing, is happening to bring you pleasure, to bring you this ultimate state of happiness, and you're showing this through your gratitude. So as you create a habit out of this gratitude, as you show it every day, even if it's just saying thank, thank you, just looking up and saying thank you for such and such, be specific. Thank you for this five dollars that I found in the parking lot. Hey, no one was around. I took it. I needed these five dollars to uh, catch my bus ticket for the day. Thank you. Or when your spouse comes home, just give her, give them a hug. Thank you for being you. Thank you for working so hard for this family. Show appreciation in the best way that they know how to receive it. So for my wife, it's touch, a lot of hugs, a lot of cuddle time, you know, kisses. That's how I show my appreciation. So a lot of the times I come back home after a long day, sitting in traffic for two hours, she'll have dinner ready. When I come home and the first thing I do is give her a hug. Thank you for dinner, for, for preparing dinner, because I'm so hungry. Thank you. And then we sit down and eat dinner. So when you show up from gratitude, your whole perspective of life will change. Life will slow down for you, because every act is a sign of love. Being so mindful as you hone into this uh, repetition of gratitude and expressing your gratitude in various ways, the best way you know and then feeling it every time you express it, even though you're mentally saying thank you, feel it in your body as well. Feel the thankfulness, the gratitude in your body. That's anchoring in the feeling that comes with the expression of gratitude. Now, when you anchor in this feeling, you'll want to bring it up more often because, hey, it feels good. Gratitude feels good. It makes you feel good, for sure. So it anchors in that Expressing gratitude brings about this particular feeling. Every time you'll see, every time you have an opportunity to be gratitude now, you're going to feel it too. And why wouldn't you want to feel it? It's like a game. Hey, let me, let me see how many times I can feel this during the day. Let's see if every moment can, can I, I can, can I feel this at every moment? Yeah, why not? Just be in, in, this, in a state of appreciation and gratitude. There is no reason that we have to complain, but we choose to complain. We have the power of choice to determine if we want to complain about this particular experience or we want to show how we appreciate this experience and appreciate the form and the nature and, the, and all the titles and the labels that come with this particular experience. You know, there's so many ways of implementing gratitude in our lives. A few ways that I do it is literally I just imagine myself saying thank you to the universe and then I feel my thank you. And I know when I feel it is when I start smiling. I can feel it throughout my body and I start smiling. It makes me instantaneously happy. Genuinely happy. And that's the quickest way. Quickest, but it's also the most, it's also very effective. Because the whole goal at the end of the day is to start feeling 
start changing your mindset to look at everything as an appreciation, as an opportunity to show your gratitude, but then also anchoring that feeling into your body, into your emotions. So anchoring that feeling into your body and making yourself feel the gratitude that you express. That's where the power lies. The other ways you could do it is you could create a gratitude jar. Every day, set a goal to write down three reasons your gratitude for the day. So throughout the day, you could write something down on a piece of paper and drop it in your jar. At the end of the month, end of the week, or, or at any time that you need to feel the feeling of gratitude, you could pick out one of those chits in the, bar, in the jar, read it and feel it. And imagine yourself in that experience when you experienced it, when you wrote this note, being in gratitude for this reason. And imagine that experience and bring in that gratitude. Now you can immediately feel thankful. You can be in that state of appreciation. This is a reminding yourself to be in appreciation more often. You place this jar, label it gratitude jar. Place it right in front of you somewhere. You see it every day as you walk out the door, as you walk in. At any time during your day, you want to, you know, you walk around your apartment and you'll see it. Place it in such a way. Just looking at, this, at the, the label gratitude will make you feel in gratitude at some point. As you get more advanced in this practice of being in gratitude. Other ways you could do it is write it, you know, have a journal. Just write it down in your journal and, you know, keep it for yourself every day. Three different ways that you feel, felt gratitude today. Write it down, record it. When you're recording it, now it's, you made it permanent. These are memories that you can go back to. But essentially, you're writing down spells, right? Words, spelling, spell. You're casting spells as you write down these words of gratitude. Such that when you go back and you read it, you can cast another spell to feel a particular way. So you're changing your state as you read this text. So spell is actually working. <laughs> That's magic. Simple magic. That's simple magic. You know, another sign that I saw from my wife, this is a really good practice that she has. She's always in gratitude. Every time I drive her somewhere, every time we drive together, we're going to a particular destination, you know, grocery shopping, her parents' place, to the theater, to the mall. I drop her off. To, you know, even long distance. Anytime that I'm driving, she'll always thank me for driving. Every time without fail. At some point during the car ride, she'll thank me. Or when we get there, she'll thank me. Without fail. It's just a habit that she's had. Thank you for driving today. Thank you for driving today. Thank you for driving today. That's powerful. So the goal is to change your mindset to appear from gratitude. Change your perspective so you look at life as if it's a place where you could just show your appreciation. It's this world where everything happens for a reason. And everything gives you an opportunity. Every opportunity you get to show your, grat uh, to show your gratitude. So live life, show your gratitude to everything and everyone that come your way. Because everyone, everything, every experience, every situation, every circumstance is always beautiful. It's always beautiful. Because it teaches us how to love ourselves. Every experience that comes your way 
is another opportunity to discover how you can love yourself more, how you can love yourself better, how you can raise your vibrations. And if everyone just focuses on raising their vibrations at every moment, That may be the thoughts you have, raising the vibrations of the thoughts you have. Thinking about creation as opposed to consumption, for example. Thinking about ideas as opposed to people, for example. Uh, coming from a state of gratitude as opposed to complaining or comparing, for example. So raising our vibrations. mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, in all these different ways will bring us so much energy and so much joy and so much happiness and bliss and that's where we're meant to go. That's where we're all going. And the things that are lowering your vibrations, we are attached to them and this attachment is causing us agony and suffering when these lower vibrations actually want to drop away from your life, you're holding on to them. So the reason that things, people, places, things, objects, circumstances, situations that come your way is to show you how you can raise your vibrations. Show you, point out the lower vibration, vibrational things and now it's your goal to detach yourself from those lower vibrations, just let it go. Surrender to the message. When you start letting go of these lower vibrations, you're allowing, you're opening up space, you're creating space for higher vibrations to come in. So you can replace that time, space, energy with higher vibrations, activities, thoughts, actions. So always remember that our goal is to increase our vibrations, to raise our vibrations. And gratitude is one way you can do it. Gratitude is a practice where you could just be thankful to yourself, in your mind, think, thinking thankful thoughts. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Gandhi TV. I hope you enjoyed this episode on gratitude. Please subscribe, please share this video, please like it, please comment. If you have any questions, please ask. And I'd love to respond to you guys. I love, I love getting your questions and comments, by the way, guys. I mean, it's, it makes my day. And all the, all the emails that I receive. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your appreciation. And here I am showing you gratitude in my episode on gratitude. There you go. Always work on implementing these techniques. You have to implement them. I could talk about it all I want to, but if I don't implement it, then it's not helping me, it's not helping anyone. So, yeah, thank you guys again. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll catch you again next time. So peace, love, and abundance to you.